the year 1586, and in the defense of her liberties, the English kingdom again found herself forced into war. Her Royal Highness, the beloved Majesty Queen Elizabeth, summoned to her side her favorite privateer, Sir Francis Drake. <laughs> nice shot, Drake. Looks like the Queen's pirate may steal a victory for once. Hey, Bozio, it seems that Admiral pants here and his lapdog forgot the throttling we gave them at Santo Domingo. Remember you invented your trademark takeout shot, the uh, Santo Domingo Flamingo. Well, that was three years ago and I was in the middle of a sherry binge. You call that a victory? That's sad. Sad! Your shot, boss. Well, Lieutenant, do the damage. Queen's Pirate! Stop calling me the Queen's Pirate already! Queen's Pirate! I've heard it a thousand times! It's Queen's Pirate! Just Queen's Pirate! Stupid. Queen's a little Queen's Pirate! Queen's Stop! Queen's Shut Pirate. up! Jerk! Thank. Thank. Don't blow it, Hank! Don't blow it! Oh. Short! Short! Short. <laughs> Bozio! It would be really helpful if you weren't flapping your gums every time I'm taking a shot. Good form, Drake. Oh, blame it on your partner. That yeah, wasn't you. Blame, it on, blame you. it on the ground. Oh, blame it on my balls. Why don't you blame it on my I'm eyes? Blame your <laughs> stupid face. I must tell you something. Do you know the expression, when the horse starves, the grass grows? In English, Bozio. Um, the uh, Armada is almost here, Frank. Yes. And me and my brothers, when we were younger, we would uh, be rambunctious. You know rambunctious? We'd be rambunctious. We would fail to do our cartography studies. And my mother would say, hey, boys, the horse is going to starve to death if you don't get back to your studies. See? I went studying a map. One must. I want to kill myself. Please just shoot. Let's have some of that Joe Bozio magic, huh? Come on. The Santo Domingo Flamingo. Yes, Flamingo. Yeah. We invented this. <laughs> yes. Oh! Christ, Bozio! Are you devoid of the will or the talent? Here, I'll do it myself. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> what would your mama say about that, Joe? Huh? How about you, effing boar? What would your mama say about... <laughs> well, Drake. Looks like we'll have to call this game a draw. This is You're just using this as an excuse because we're about to win. I am telling you, Drake, to go and fight that armada. Immediately. First we finish the game, then we finish the invincible armada. Looks like we win <laughs> again. Let's get out of here. Do your job, Drake. Bozio, I can't believe you left that shot so short. I suck. I totally suck! Frank, what? Frank, what? El condodino non fa sapere quando il buono e il formaggio non fa bene. Your father worked in a cheese kitchen? Don't let the peasants know how good the cheese tastes with the bears, huh? Moronic. Oh, really? 
Yeah, but it's really stupid. Yes. Maybe it's fake, but you know, this is much you think. It's just a game, no? Maybe you're right, Bozio. Maybe you're right. What do you say we go burn some Spaniards alive, huh? First, we finish the game. Then, we finish the Invincible Armada. His words resonate throughout the ages and for all time as words of bravery. For as the Spanish Armada entered the harbor, they succumbed to a fiery and brilliant counterattack orchestrated by Sir Francis Drake as if under divine inspiration. Sir Francis Drake, we salute thee.